So I did get... Um, a new external filter for the fish tank rather than the one that sits on the back and creates a waterfall. And I will confirm that, number one, it's a lot easier to keep clean. It has a pre-filter, which I can, I'm cleaning at the moment every four days. So I think I'm due to clean out today. And then it has a couple of pallets with filters in that I plan to clean out. Initially, I'm probably going to clean it out next weekend. And uh, we'll see how bad they are. But because of the pre-filter, I don't expect the main filters to be as um, gummed up as the pre-filters get. Uh, but the water is definitely significantly cleaner than it used to be with just the old sort of carbon filters at the back, you know, perched on the back of the tank. I, I can't remember if the tank's 60 or 50 and I think it's 60 gallon but the filter's rated for 70 so definitely big enough for what we have because it's all self-contained in its own bucket it's going to be a lot easier <coughs> to get cleaned because So we'll probably pick up those tiny little chunks as we're uh, doing each of the headlands. But during the course of changing the filter, you know, getting the new filter started, I think we lost three of our adult fish. Um, one of them has been particularly unwell over the last month um, just not swimming straight and yeah you, you get a feeling of when um, when a fish has some problems and this one has de had definitely been acting kind of weird for over a month so the fact that when we changed the filter it just went and up and died on us was not a big surprise the other two hadn't really exhibited any issues but I don't know Uh, we still have a quite sizable population and the fish are now more active they're swimming around rather than hiding under trees and what have you so I would say that the general health good grief I am really doing this bad um, the general health of the fish in the tank is probably significantly improved as well Happy with that. Oops. Yeah. We do have our Cory catfish that uh, tend to sleep as a group on the bottom for most of the day. I assume they're swimming around at night time. They're definitely active at times, but uh, there are extended periods where they just sit on the bottom together and don't move much but that's not why we got them we got them to keep the algae and yeah they're bottom feeders so they tend to keep the bottom of the tank clean as well Shh, I also I do need to do a water change today 
that will happen a bit later, probably after I've had my lunch. Because that's just a good time to do things. I think probably this afternoon I will uh, go back down into the basement and do some more woodworking. Ugh, oh, just. I did get most of what I wanted done last week done. Um, this week I need to find myself a bigger drill bit so I can. Uh, Drill some wood to put some uh, adjustable feet in. And obviously that, that could be interesting. I'm not sure I have a drill bit the right size, which means I might need to go out. Which uh, wasn't planned considering the state of outside at the moment and the temperatures outside. Uh, And I'll keep going. There. And again, little patch of grass that didn't get picked up. I didn't look at how many bales we started the day with on the bale counter, so I can't see how we're doing. I don't recall what the reset button is. I suppose we could look that up. Pick up, reset bail counter, control X. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Maybe we'll remember to do that next time. Especially if I'm doing contracts with my own equipment. So as I said, I'd like to get that field directly in front of us on the contract. Because it pays good. For the most part, if it makes... If it's, if it's a hay contract, then I will usually just drop the hay in the barn. But if it's a um, silage contract, we will sell that for cash, additional cash. And considering we're 80,000 in the hole at the moment, uh, cash is good. Should check here is canola prices in November. So they're climbing, they're quite good. Soybeans is June. Yeah, soybeans are at half price at the moment. And then grass, not grass conditioned. Oh, heck, we've got two tanker loads of milk to transfer. And you were sorry, that's getting depressingly full as well. Uh, okay, where is grass silage? Um, that sells at 170 in January, but the prices are up there from November. Grass silage, maize silage. Whole crop silage, okay, so 
even if I just ended up with fresh grass, that would have ended up in grass silage. And it's currently 154, so yeah, 16 bucks a, a bale. It's not even a bale. Um, 16 bucks per thousand liters lower than best price at the moment. I don't mind holding on to it. It's we don't have anything to do over the winter, so having to ship out to um, whoever wants it is uh, is fine by me. It's October, so November is best sell for your brave dude. Um, canola, and obviously I'm probably not going to deal with that. Yes, a brave dude running down the street, which is covered in ice. Running. Admittedly younger than me, so probably not going to get quite as badly injured if he uh, slips and falls as I would. How are we doing with this? We are... Mm, not quite hard. Well... I think the next row will be halfway. The numbers are usually in the middle of the field. Nine. So, things to look out on TV for. I believe we should be getting a new season of Clarkson Farm. Um, probably about two weeks out now. Now I have heard season one was a big success, so they're actually filming season two and three kind of back to back. I'm guessing each season is a year. So we'll be looking at last year for season two. and We've still got a little bit of season three still to be recorded. However, Clarkson said some mean things about Meghan Markle, so uh, that may be the last season of Clarkson's Farm next year. Which is A, not a surprise, because Clarkson is not very diplomatic when it comes to things he says. And um, I don't know, people who employ him know that. So don't be surprised. He lost you know, the Top Gear um, series. He was fired for saying something mean about something, somebody. And the other two just said, we're a team, so we're leaving too. Um, BBC tried to do Top Gear with some new presenters and it really didn't work out too well because they didn't have the, the cohesion of um, Clarkson Hammond and May. Um, and it, the same was true, I think, with the American version. The Americans tried to do a Top Gear series. And again, it, it was the personality. Okay, so they have three and four commissioned. I had, I'd only heard of three, because obviously two is in the can, and they're, you know, they're broadcasting it next month, or f from next month. I think that's one of the series that drops weekly. Um, but they were doing, se you know, season three was in production um, already, or you know, filming already. And uh, the question is, how far along? Because I know, you know, the problem is, is season four hasn't even started filming, and they may just say, yeah, you're too toxic, we don't want you. Which, as I said, is, is stupid, because he is who he is, and you know who he is, and he is going to say stuff.
that some people get offended by. And there is a certain philosophy that says, I am not responsible for you being offended. Especially not when you're, uh, you know, an on-air personality. You can try and temper what you say, but trust me, someone is going to get offended somewhere along the lines. You can't not offend everybody all of the time. So, even if you do your best, you're going to say something, people are going to get upset, and... Uh, But Clarkson is not one of those people that takes care in what he says. He just says what he what he feels. And I stopped again. I missed it again. Still, so how are we doing here? We are definitely getting along. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then the bits at the end. Oh, it's 2.48 game time. Might be time to check what's on sale at the store. Probably going to make all of the silage bales over by that manure pit where we had the whole crop silage earlier. Just because I've run I've run out of room down at our silage clamp, and uh, I could sell some, but uh, I think I will sell most of our silage come. Uh, winter. Because as I said, there's not a lot left to do. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. So, when we last looked in the sale, there was a... Um, whoops. Oh, what was there? Three meter cultivator, a big well no the 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 unloading auger and a uh, grape trailer and something else which escapes me that thing the pallet creator we do now have ooh a um a uh, silage header which unfortunately I can't do combination on. Kemper 345 plus, oops, let's go back to uh, forage harvest header. Kemper 345 plus combinations, and that will go on the front of a tractor or any of our wonderfully big expensive forage harvesters. I might consider getting one of those at some point and putting a header on it so that we can run forage from a tractor. But not until I've got two silage bunkers because obviously I want... If I'm going to make loose silage I'm going to want to uh, have options. So. And it's, 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 it's the problem we had when we were doing um, law folds back in Farm Sim 17. The cow farm only had one silage bunker. So I would fill that up completely. I would then cover it over and then we'd start making use of it. Now, obviously, the issue there was um, while it's in use, I can't put any more stuff in it. So I had to transfer all of my grass from where we were producing it and haul it all the way up to the BGA to use the silage clamps there. Now, the BGA had five clamps, 
Um, I didn't. I, I tended to use one, three, and five rather than adjacent clamps um, because there was some bleed through sometimes. Um, but still, since we sold most of our silage, that just meant I could unload them into the uh, um, into the uh, digester and just make all the money that way. So it was, am I shipping silage from the farm up to the BGA or am I just uh, um, just shipping the grass up there? Yeah, you've still got to ship a ton of stuff up there. It's just at which end of the process are you shipping it? Um, with Oakfield Farm, we did actually have two silage clamps on the farm. One of them was a little bit awkward to get in and out. Um, but still, they because we had two, if I'd been doing cows, and we didn't do cows, we did sheep. So most of our um, food production was bales and wrapped bales and stuff like that. So it wasn't... We weren't mixing TMR, so I wasn't so worried about having silage loose. But one clamp on a farm is can be quite um, restricted. Yeah, restrictive. It's sort of some. Yeah, having two gives you a more flexible operation. Let's say uh, this is going to be annoying. Um, how's about we lift up the lifting thing. And we'll lower it there. The problem is, is this is probably going to open almost immediately. Like that, so we are going to miss a bit there. But again, most of the stuff we're doing on this farm is going to be whole crop silage for the cows and grass silage just for sale. And so all of this is just income. And obviously the nice thing about silage is, is we get paid or yeah, we can you know, harvest this ground so five, four or five times a year um, which is way more than any other crop so of course that's kind of a good thing and bye bye bale ok I wonder if I'll find that one later sure if it stopped rolling. Looks like it might have done. I usually end up with at least some grass in that uh, copse of trees over on the uh, left there. There could very well be some bales in there somewhere. Dude, quit rolling. Okay, so I think once we've got this done, um, I'll jump out, get the uh, John Deere and the baling trailer, and we'll deal with that. Lift up the uh, lifty up thing. completely mistimed the emptiness part of it and we'll drive forward to about there and shut it all off okay let's go find a John Deere somewhere 
We have green stuff, but it's a little bit lighter than that thing. Alrighty. Um, I think again we'll get in the cab for street driving because it's just easier. Oh, hello. Well, that thing is made out of um, not very good stuff. So, uh, if our tractor had hit that in real life, that would have been flat. It's kind of sheet metal. I think it's welded. But it's just sheets of metal. It, they, there's almost nothing inside for structural integrity or what have you. Very small, very light vehicles. So, you know, they're quite efficient, but they're not that the. They weren't particularly uh, green, although lots of uh, people who cared about the environment used them. Crash TV. I guess. It's the show's called The Stone Region Pretty. That's a good one too. Shut the door. Okay, it is. Forgetting that the uh, load arms are right there. Um, mini, mini. That one. Ha! Found the right button. Okay, so we will grab all of these. One of the things that I like to get done, I want to get these wrapped as soon as possible because it's 24 hours to, uh, actually is it? It's three game days for them to, uh, to ferment. And so the earlier I get them done, the earlier they're ready. This is going to take some uh, shenanigans. Oh, there we go. Don't crash. Snatch the bale from the uh, from behind the uh, doits. That was good. But running these through the extractor can be time, quite time consuming. So what I might do is move these to the yard and unload them and then wrap them off camera. So what we might do is progress to October 2 and um, at least get the spraying max. It's only 9.30. I don't know. If you have thoughts, please let me know. Oh, actually, that thing considered, I am going to do a uh, HUD off back. And I think we'll come around to this side and we will take a picture. I'm trying something a little bit different this week in that um, I take specific screenshots rather than letting YouTube pick out screenshots. Now what might end up happening is that um, I use the YouTube screenshots 
but if possible I'd like to uh, manipulate these screenshots stick the uh, farm sim 22 logo on them and then use them as thumbnails for the YouTube videos because I think having farm sim 22 logos on them might 